I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and this is Cabo San Lucas. I'm in the Baja Peninsula this week, having a great time with some girlfriends, and I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 things to do when you're visiting Cabo. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, I put out weekly laid-back luxury travel videos inspiring you to buy that plane ticket and come to the beach. And make sure to stay to the end of the video because I have a special bonus tip for you as well. And honestly, I think it's the number one thing that you need to do when you're in Cabo San Lucas. So let's get started. Number one, the first thing you need to do is to understand you have to go shopping when you're laying out on the beach. There are lots and lots of guys walking around hawking their wares. Some of the guys have been out here 20 something years selling and hawking their wares. So me and my girlfriends, we have bought silver, probably not real, but still fun to shop. Blankets, we have sarongs. Make sure when you're in Cabo and you're at the beach that you get your shop on. Bring lots and lots of cash with you. Lots of cash. And negotiate at least 50% off from the original price that they're asking. Number two, there is someone that is so special hawking his wares, actually his wife's wares, when you're on the beach. His name is Lupe and he walks up and down the beach every single day. So if you are coming to Cabo and you're out at the beach, you See, have to uh -huh. get your tamales from Lupe. Oh, yeah, his wife makes the tamales. And he is carrying around a big case that is empty where he's writing orders. Typically he has beef, chicken and a cheese with poblano pepper and each day the girls and i have been out here we have had some of his tamales oh my goodness these tamales i got two cheese and one with ground beef and they are the finest tamales i think i've ever had so cheers Speaking of food, you have to do number three. Number three was recommended by a very good friend of mine as well as a friend of mine from Mexico City. It is a taco bar, taqueria, called La Lupita. It's just down the street from our hotel and they have the most divine tacos I think I have ever had. They are a little on the luxurious side. They have pork belly or they have lamb barbacoa. They also have this amazing taco that is a cheese shell with a pork al pastor inside mm, it is so delicious so make sure when you are coming to Cabo that you go to La Lupita and make sure that you order three different tacos or four different tacos each person that you're with so you can go around and taste probably 12 to 15 different tacos it is so worth it I've been there twice And good morning. Make sure that while you're staying in Cabo, if you're up before sunrise, that you come out and you watch the spectacular views. The sunrises are just before 7 a.m. and it's ridiculously gorgeous. You have the sunrise over here and then you have the incredible sunsets over the mountains. But right now it's a little early after a few days in Cabo, so I need a little bit more coffee. The sunset sets over the arch and the rocks over on the west side and the sunrise comes up over the Bay of Cortez and no matter where you are in Cabo, the sunsets and sunrises are to die for. Speaking of sunsets and sunrises, I definitely suggest that you go out and do a sunset cruise from the marina. We went on a sailboat with about 35 people. Tonight we are on a sailboat and I have left the link in the description below. We're going to have a dinner with some shrimp and cocktails, all you can drink, and a sunset cruise going to the arch. And we had a gourmet meal all the alcohol you could drink which is sort of normal in Cabo for one set price but you want to make sure that your all-inclusive drinking includes high quality alcohol not just the cheap stuff so we paid a little extra we had a beautiful sailboat with staff that was fantastic we sat at the front of the boat and just enjoyed the view and enjoyed the sunset and before I move on to the next thing you have to do while you're in Cabo, I would suggest that you go to the description below and join the tribe. Each week I put out an email that gives tips, tricks, and hacks that help you enjoy your trips even more. 
So next I suggest if you want to go spend some time at the Arch and Lover's Beach and Divorce Beach, my suggestion is is that you just pick up one of the taxis from the beach right behind me. They will take you over there, leave you as long as you want, and bring you back. We have Luis. Hola Luis. Hola, hola. Okay, so we're going to be spending about 30 minutes at Lover's Beach. We're gonna go around, take a quick little tour, and back and I tell you what, this is the way to do it. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars, we're spending like 10, 12 bucks each. So this is definitely the way to go see the arch. They sent us around. We got all the pictures we wanted to. Then they dropped us off at the beach. We got to sit at the beach, take some more photos. We could have stayed a half an hour or we could have stayed all afternoon. And then when we were ready, Louise came back, waved to us, picked us up, and in about 11 minutes, we were back at the beach by our hotel. So yes, I suggest paying extra and going on a sunset cruise, but I suggest taking a water taxi if you're just gonna go to Lover's Beach. And number seven, I'm gonna be short and sweet. While you're in Cabo, go all out. Make sure that you go at least once to one of the clubs. If you're not a big clubber and you feel that this is not your thing, still go out, see some karaoke, get out long after dark, 10, 11, 12 o'clock. If you can stay up, go out at like one o'clock. It's a whole different city and it's really, really fun. And number eight, this town is known for its adventure sports from paragliding and parachuting to jet skis to stand up paddle boards. You can also go horseback riding and ride camels. Every sport that I think you want to do, you can find here in Cabo San Lucas. For me, I think the best thing that you can do, and it's really dusty and really dirty, is to take a UTV or an ATV out into the desert and then go out riding on the beach. This trip, I didn't get the opportunity to do that, but my suggestion is, is to go with G-Force Adventures and go out. It's a two or three hour trip. They pick you up at your hotel and drop you off, and you are out there in the desert getting it, just a getting it. Okay, that was my Alabama coming out. That was totally my Alabama coming where I was raised, coming out, getting it. And number nine for the top things to do when you're visiting Cabo San Lucas is to actually leave Cabo San Lucas. There are fantastic day trips and the girls and I, we went to Todos Santos for the day. There's lots of shopping and there was a fantastic restaurant with some of the world famous margaritas called Tequila Sunrise. Make sure to ask for Manuel. He is the owner and his two daughters are there. They will take excellent care of you. I also suggest that you get the Camarón or the Shrimp Relleno. It was mm, scrumptious. But going to Todos Santos is a lot of fun. It is a Puebla Magica, which is a magic village. And it's a lot of fun just to take a day trip. Make sure when you are on your way home that you stop at the Hotel San Cristobal. And the Hotel San Cristobal is in the middle of nowhere. You're not gonna know where you're going. It's a, down a dirt road. You don't know what you're after, but when you get there, it is absolute paradise. So make sure that if you are not driving yourself, that you ask your driver to save enough time to go to Hotel San Cristobal. You can get a drink and a couple of apps before you head back to Cabo San Lucas. And last but not least is just come with your friends, enjoy your time, sit back, relax on the beach, enjoy a couple of cocktails, and make sure that you try some mezcal, which is more typical for Mexicans than tequila. You see tequila everywhere, but there's lots of mezcal to be had as well. So come, enjoy, relax, and have a great time. So I know that you've been waiting this entire video to see the bonus tip. Well, the bonus tip is, are you ready? Drum roll, please. So make sure when you come to Cabo San Lucas that you do an avocado tour. That is like avocado, except it's avocado. And tonight we're doing the seafood tour with Jonathan and Robin. And you have to do one of these tours. Don't go on any other food tours. Do one of the avocado food tours and make sure you do it early in your trip because we have crossed over the divide from the tourist area to the locals area. And we are in all local restaurants tonight. 
and what we're gonna finish off the night with is a little bit of elote after our ceviche and our other fishes and mariscos and everything that we're gonna have. I cannot wait to get this started. It is to die for. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler. Make sure to click subscribe, ring that notification bell because you don't want to miss an episode and I will see you on the next adventure. I'm Kim, the Abundant... Let's start over. No, yep. Make some raw scrap. Did I say tamales? I wonder what I said. Did I say tamales? I think I have to start over. Nothing like not knowing where you're going, where you're supposed to be, or reading the directions of where you're supposed to be. Alright, so where are we? Cabo San Lucas. Oh my god, my finger's been in it the whole yeah. time. Typically he has, let's see, typically he has, typically I can't even think. You put it in a video. This is the most incredible margarita I've ever had in my <laughs> life in her whole life in her whole life and number eight i have no idea what number eight is oh yeah i do now <laughs>